Okay, so hi you guys, it's Nene, and I am in New York. I did Andy Cohen's show last night. So, um, I've been getting a lot of calls and a lot of texts about the closet, my closet, the closet, my closet, it's my closet. I just don't know how many times I need to say, it's my closet. But um, people are asking me like, why didn't you want them to go in your closet? Which I think is a stupid question, but you know, I'm not these people. So I just want to be able to at least um, address it in some kind of way. Okay, because you know when you're watching the show, you only get a small piece of what's really happening. So this is what happened. Uh, Marlo and I and Cynthia were always planned to go upstairs. That's of something I always told production. It's okay. Let me let me go back. Let me take you all the way back because some people won't get it. So when when you're doing an event at your house, uh, you usually discuss with your producer like where you're gonna shoot at, or, you know what what what's gonna happen in the event, where you're gonna eat at, that kind of stuff. So with my producer. I said to him, I'm doing this thing at my house. You guys have access to my entire home. There's only one place that's off limits, and that is my master bedroom. Once they learned that Greg had been readmitted into the hospital, they said, um, we would love for, you know, we know you don't like to stay at home by yourself, so we would love for, you know, Marlo and Cynthia to spend the night with you. They talked to Marlo and Cynthia. They were okay with it. As you see, they're walking through the door with bags in their hand. Marlo has like a big straw bag. Cynthia comes to the door and she has a bag because they're coming to stay overnight. Uh, so they asked me if me and Marlo and Cynthia could they capture us getting ready for bed and I said yes yeah. so the only people that are supposed to be in my master bedroom is me Marlo and Cynthia we were the only ones approved to go in my master bedroom the next thing I said to my producer is you no one is allowed to shoot in my closet they asked me originally could I show my closet and I said to them I cannot show my closet because my closet is not organized I've been traveling for weeks Greg has been in and out of hospital I have luggages laying in my floor my closet is so unorganized I wouldn't want anybody to see it unorganized now with that said I didn't probably wouldn't mind if the girls saw it without the cameras there the cameras is going to take it to a whole nother level which i'm inviting the world into my closet while it's messy so i was like no no shooting in my closet now fast forward marlo cynthia and i are upstairs as you see marlo and i sitting on the couch then i said to the producer it's possible i want tanya to come upstairs because i wanted to be able to talk to tanya privately we were the only ones approved. Suddenly, Eva appeared upstairs and said, oh my God, downstairs, you know, um, Shamari threw up on me and I need something to change into. She comes upstairs without being invited, just came upstairs, needed some clothes. I went in my closet, got her a new dress to put on as I think is in the show. You see me giving her the dress. Um, after that, people just gradually started coming upstairs before i knew it my whole master bedroom was filled with production crew and all of the girls the first thing candy and them said was candy said oh this is how rich people live so i don't even think they have that part in there but this is what was said um this is how rich people live like looking around i said girl you know how rich people live and then portia was looking around and portia said something like i have that same light and i was like oh know about that though but okay so um after that uh candy said where is that closet at i'm gonna go find that closet i said don't go in my closet um it's unorganized as you see me saying it on the show i said several times now i know on the show they might have shown me saying it three times but i might have said it ten now Marlo is sitting beside me saying, go in the closet. Yeah, y'all going in the closet. Your friends are up here now. Mind you, I know Marlo. Marlo is being 100% sarcastic. She's mad about me and her being downstairs. And I'm supposed to be her friend. And I shouldn't have had this whole conversation with her, you know, with um, people around. So, yeah. So, Marlo was being sarcastic. And, um... Right y'all gonna make me get the fight. Nah, let your friends go. These are all your friends. So Shut up, bitch. Y'all try all the You, you, you don't get the argument. 
because she was in her feelings basically she was not meaning for them to go into my closet because marlo really knew how i felt about my closet um so despite all that despite me saying don't go candy first walked straight back into my master bathroom just candy then as she was coming back portia said i'm gonna go with her oh my goodness and I was like, nah, y'all, don't go in my closet. Like, seriously, I said, Cynthia, tell them don't go in my closet. Cynthia, go get them and bring them out. My oh closet is my best. So Cynthia was like, for real, y'all, Nene closet is not the way she wanted to look. You know she got a nice closet, but she don't want it. She don't want it. She ain't got it looking the way she wants y'all to see it, right? Despite all that, we went in my master bathroom. They couldn't find my closet, so they went into Greg's closet. Look at the rest of it. After they went into Greg's closet, they saw, oh, this must be this closet, this door over here. So they opened that door and went into my closet. Oh, right. Ooh, this is where Ooh, it's right. Right. I got up when the camera guy went into, was headed towards my closet. Because remember, the the day. remember, I told my producer we could not shoot in my closet at all. So my thoughts were, they all have these little plugs in their ear. So my thoughts were, my producer has gone against what I told him I did not want. And he's told the camera guy to go into the closet and film. That's how it escalated. Hey, don't go. What happened? <laughs> now, with all of that being said, these girls have a habit of disrespecting each other's home. Kenya went down into Sheree's unfinished basement when she didn't want it to be done. After all the digs that she has taken at my house, this lady is living in a war zone. Sheree and some more people are talking about Kenya not having her baseboards done in her new home. My house with, un, uh, with no baseboards or with no trim or with yeah, uh, I, I don't. Kim and her daughter came over my house planting bugs, honey. What in the world? Kim and Brielle are like taping videos at people's homes and saving them for Mad Day. This bullshit has just gone too far now. They didn't want me to be, you know, they had a problem with, I mean, me to be okay with it. So this year, when they came to my house, I was like, listen, you know what? You guys don't learn. You're not going to disrespect my house at all. If I tell you to come in here, I'm from the South, first of all. When somebody say, come in and sit right here, you come in and you sit right here. You don't come in and you start wandering all over their house. Now, what I look like, if you tell me to, Oh, Nene, you can come in and we're just going to be on this level. And you find me wandering all through your house. That's disrespectful. I would never do such a thing to you. Now, going even further, I've never been in Candy's home. Her main house, I've never even stepped my shoe inside of Candy's main house. The only house I've ever been in, as you know, Candy has two homes on a property. So she has more like a guest house and then her main house. I've only been in her guest house, okay? When we were shooting this year, you saw all of us getting ready to go to Destin, Florida. We all met up at Candy's house. We were all in her guest house. Never have I ever, and I've only been over her house a couple times, I've never been in her main house. So, and Candy had never, ever been to my home. That was her first time visiting my house. So that was really like, wow, Portia. I only went to Portia's house for the very first time this season. Never been to Portia's house, although Portia lives around the corner from me. We live in walking distance of each other's home. I had never gone to her house since she moved into my neighborhood, ever. She'd been to mine and forgot, but I'd never, ever been to Portia's home. So, However you feel about someone entering my closet is however you feel. And that's okay with me because at the end of the day, it's my closet. And I make the rules for my closet. I make the rules for my house. I make the rules for my car. Just as anybody else in this world do. You have rules at your house. You know, maybe you wouldn't want somebody cursing in your house. Maybe you wouldn't want them to fight in your house. Or you have rules for your car. Maybe you don't want people to eat in your car. Or don't put their feet up in your car. Or whatever your rules are. Um, what I can tell you, and I've been around these girls for many, many years, I've never disrespected their home or their cars, ever. And they're going to have to stop doing that because one of the things that I said 
when we were in Barcelona, Spain, if you followed the show, when we were in Barcelona and Marlo said something about Portia having a little bitty mat at her front door. Uh, I spoke out then. I can't remember if they played it. I think they did. <laughs> I spoke out then and I said, you know what? All of us are very blessed. We all live in over million dollar homes, million dollars, two million dollars homes. We drive cars are super expensive, that kind of stuff. And it's so stupid for any of us to like pick out little stuff about each other's home that doesn't make no sense. When I was purchasing my house, I looked at several homes, but I never once went through my house thinking, I wonder how Cynthia gonna sleep in here tonight. I wonder, you know, if Marlo would love this room right here. I never once thought that. When I purchased my house, all I thought about was if I liked it, how much my family would like it and love it. That's the only thoughts I had. I never cared about what any of these girls think. Um, their homes, I think everybody's home fits them. The homes that they live in, I would have never picked it for myself because it's not my style of home. And my home may not be their style of home, I don't know. But what I do know is that everybody has a nice home. It's so stupid and disrespectful to come into each other's home and, and carry on that way. So that's where I was. Now, um, me having a real breakdown was a real mental breakdown that I've never had in my life. But I knew that I was going to be having something very close to that because I had taken so much within the last few months I literally could not take anymore. And I also felt like I wasn't being heard and that was really painful for me. So with that being said, um, there's another video that's gonna go up probably after this video at some point where I speak very candidly and very raw and it happens right after I see the footage for the first time. So it's, a, it's a, and I've already done that and um, it was very emotional. Um, so you'll have to see the next video um, after that. So um, thank you guys. I'm still in New York City. Mm. Real Housewives reunion is coming up real, real soon.